Welcome back to the ecosystem, and I'm here with uh, none other than uh, Yusuf. And uh, as always, we're gonna go through those 10 questions real quick. And uh, our hope is that at the end of the show, I mean, at least in one or the other, it sort of adds something to whether you're an entrepreneur or you're interested about entrepreneurship or you're interested about running the ecosystem as a whole. So you get to learn a thing about some of the key players within the ecosystem. So yeah, welcome. Welcome to the show, you. Yusuf. Thank you for having me. So here's how it works. I've yeah. got a list of 10 questions. Mm -hmm. I just drop all of them at you one at a time and yeah. then you give me straight answers and then yeah, that's it. Perfect. Simple as that. Yeah. Let's go for it. Yeah, the first question is uh, pretty much like, you know, open, where you get to tell us your name, what you do, and anything you think we should, we should know about you. Sure. Um, yeah, so my name is uh, Yusuf Mwadi. Mm -hmm. I'm a Rwandan uh, Rwanda entrepreneur. I mm -hmm. run a company called uh, Bag Innovation, mm -hmm. uh, co-founded about five years ago now. Mm -hmm. um, currently the CEO of the company. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much a technology company working on um, uh, preparing young people for jobs. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Okay. So second questions. You know, still on that, um, yeah. in a nutshell, how has your entrepreneurial journey been like? I mean, how's it been? Just, you know, like two two things, yeah. you know, like the best and uh, like that one, the lowest point. Yeah, yeah. the lowest point. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's it's been a bit of a, of a bumpy road, mm -hmm. I would say, and mm -hmm. um, but it's super fun as well, mm -hmm. because um, I definitely come from, um, uh, from a household where my dad has been an entrepreneur, my brother Apparently. is an entrepreneur, and uh, I've just Good been for surrounded you. for. <laughs> I've just been surrounded by entrepreneurship all my life, mm -hmm. and uh, so it kind of like came natural to me to you know to jump into um, you know entrepreneurship and just really start something. And at what like, age did you start? I mean, officially like register a business in <laughs> RDB or <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go with that. Um, I mean, I would say 17, right? Wow. And uh, but then I've always been like this kid who's like in school, like mm -hmm. selling stuff, you know, like just like, you know, uh, getting something for a cheaper price and selling it with a profit, you know, like okay. just those basics uh, that you need in entrepreneurship. So, I mean, for the last five years, it's mm -hmm. been it's been super interesting learning a lot about mm -hmm. Uh, startups uh, mm -hmm. because again running a startup is very different from uh, mm -hmm. let's say a small business or just a regular business uh, so i would say that like learning how to how do you scale a business to you know thousands of people using the service I or the see. product and all that stuff uh but yeah it's um it's been a it's been an interesting journey and i, I, I feel like i'm just getting started oh yeah <laughs> after five years okay <laughs> third question um what are some of the biggest mistakes you met as an entrepreneur and how did you recover from those biggest mistakes let's go for what two top two, two of them yeah um two top two i would say okay <laughs> mistakes <laughs> number one mm -hmm. i would say that uh which I, which i feel like a lot of people do it's mm -hmm. uh thinking that uh the problem you're trying to solve is actually super painful Mm -hmm. Right, painful enough for you to build a significant, uh, significantly big company, I would say. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the first uh, things because um, you kind of like say, okay, I identified a problem, mm -hmm. right? I feel like I know how I can actually solve this. Mm -hmm. Let me just run with this, mm -hmm. right? But then as soon as you put out the product or the service on the market, you realize that it's not really what uh, you know was I needed, see. and you really need to educate yourself a lot about the problem, right? I so I see a lot of people also make the same mistake where it's mm -hmm. like, you don't really understand the problem deep enough uh, that you think uh, you've um, come up with a solution. So one way that I uh, tried to overcome mm -hmm. that challenge was mm -hmm. to actually just start getting uh, curious. So for mm -hmm. example, in my space, uh, I have to be curious and um, really passionate about education and uh, mm -hmm. employment. Mm -hmm. I started reading a lot about that, like speaking to a lot of people who've been in the, in the same mm -hmm. space for a very long time just to really educate myself as, as, as a founder, right? Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. I don't want to just, oh, like if you're put up on a, on a big stage with a bunch of experts and mm -hmm. uh, you're asked a lot of questions, it's like, oh, I don't really understand the problem I that see. well. So that's, that's one of the ways that I had to do it. Obviously, I had to learn the hard way. Mm -hmm. um, and I would say number two was um, since I'm a non-technical founder, right? So that means I don't write code. Mm -hmm. um, however, I run a technology company. Mm -hmm. So what that means is that uh, in the beginning, when you're trying to build a tech product or a software, uh, one of the mistakes that we made, uh, you know, as mm -hmm. a team mm -hmm. was uh, we basically just created a bunch of uh, features. We put them on a, on a list, like mm -hmm. a list of uh, features. I see. Just give them to tech guys and say, hey, just build it. it. Takes you three months. No worries. 
or come mm -hmm. back and pick up the product. Interesting. And that is not, definitely mm -hmm. not the right way to build a tech product. I see. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, those are the top two, man. Okay. And um, yeah, we try to overcome it. You Perfect. Know, next nice. time. Yeah, moving on to fourth question. Um, how about the wins? I mean, probably after talking about the, uh, the downs and the lows and, and all yeah. that kind of stuff. So top two wins you're really proud of. Top two wins. Uh, mm -hmm. I would say definitely we've been chasing, uh, you know, that uh, I would say recommendation from the Ministry of Education, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what that means is that mm -hmm. uh, because we want our product to be used by, mm -hmm. by different universities all over the country and mm -hmm. some of the biggest universities are, uh, you know, government. It's one. We've got one. Yeah, actually. the biggest yeah, university, yeah, the biggest right? One, yeah. It's uh, kind of like, you know, yeah. embodies a lot of like different colleges. Mm -hmm. uh, but to be able to get that kind of uh, partnership has mm -hmm. been super hard for us. So mm -hmm. we've been trying to find innovative ways to get there. However, when uh, we basically mm -hmm. won this kind of like big uh, partnership with the African Union, where we would scale our solution in Rwanda and other countries in Africa, uh, we're able to get that kind of like recommendation from the Ministry of Education here, which mm -hmm. basically says that, hey, these guys are legit, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. um, and um, this is a solution that is needed for uh, Rwandan students. So that's one of our biggest wins. So that opens a whole um, new market and a very bigger market in Rwanda, okay. I would say. And um, I think another win was, mm -hmm. um, I would say, being able to attract the right team. I think right now we oh, attracted the right kind of like a technical team on our, mm -hmm. on, on our, uh, you know, uh, in our team. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is really helping us in building the products and really making sure that we're building for scale, uh, I which I see a lot of oh. uh, startups fail at <laughs> attracting the right people. Yeah, I know. That's, that's tough. That's yeah. one of the toughest, actually. Now, moving on to the fifth question. Um, mm. Yeah, this one actually is my favorite. Where do you get your inspiration from to keep going? Uh, inspiration to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Like one source, <clears throat> just go for that one source, like this thing or this person or whatever that is. If, if I don't know, maybe this movie, um, Silicon Valley, yeah. this guy who'd go and smoke mm. to get all these, like the brightest ideas. So mm. I don't know if you do that as well. I don't know if it's coffee. I don't know. If, I mean, where do you get your inspiration from? Let's inspiration. Just go. Um, yeah. I get my inspiration from talking to other early stage founders. Okay. Right. I would say that's mm -hmm. uh, that has been one of the best ways for me to get inspiration. Mm -hmm. So other people are going through the same journey and mm, um, are see. facing the same challenges. And we can just like grab coffee, grab a drink after work and just really talk about some of these things. I see. Uh, kind of makes you feel like you're not alone in the, in the journey. Right. So at least <laughs> we can tell it. it's not from smoking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, next question is um, yeah. your wildest dream as an entrepreneur. Just one. Wildest stream as an entrepreneur. Um, yeah. uh, I mean, I, I mean, with all the content that is being flooded with Elon Musk, like achieving oh, yeah. all these big milestones, <laughs> it kind of feels like that's where we all want to go. It's like you want to get to the point where you've built so many successful companies mm -hmm. that you can start investing in like uh, your wildest dreams. Like, oh, I've always wanted to, you mm -hmm. know, like, I don't know, build a school. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can actually build a school now. Mm -hmm. Right. I've always wanted to, I don't know. Uh, I see. Uh, you know, like hmm. really just like being able to get to the point where you can start uh, investing in things that are that close to your heart. To exactly. Actually. Right. Okay. And not necessarily chasing money or, you know, My investors. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so become that one that's being chased. Right. Exactly. <laughs> nice one. Now, uh, next question, um, your uh, lessons to share with entrepreneurs, like one, like two do's and two don'ts. Like two do's and two don'ts. Yeah. Two don'ts. Number one is definitely don't make the mistake that um, I made in mm -hmm. the in the early days, which is um, you know basically just creating a bunch of things that you feel like are people assuming. are going to need. Assuming, right? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, putting it on the market because you're going to lose a lot of money. That's just a yeah, fact, true. right? Mm -hmm. um, so don't do that. Uh, mm -hmm. Try as much as possible, like to um, you know. Again, this is content that is all over the place mm -hmm. uh, that you can get for free, but still we have to go back to it. It's mm -hmm. that obsession, mm -hmm. just being obsessed with your customers and being curious, I would say, is really something that we have to develop as young entrepreneurs. Be curious, mm -hmm. like don't assume things, just okay. ask questions. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, uh, things, that, things that you have to do, I would say again, Mm -hmm. um, educate yourself as much as possible about mm -hmm. the problem uh, mm -hmm. that you're trying to solve. I see. Um, educate yourself and um, 
yeah, be obsessed with your customers. Um, obsessed. If, if you're not obsessed <laughs> with uh, making your product yeah. the best product and waking up and checking your metrics every day, yeah, you won't know what's going That's wrong true. in That's your company. Wow. Yeah. Now, this, the, the following question um, turns out uh, in our previous series, uh, the mm. guy, Philip, that we had on a show, yeah. he mentioned bag innovation. And it's actually great that you're here now, but then you get to tell us the three running startups that you're vouching for, like the top mm. three. And obviously, I mean, excluding ourselves, I mean, excluding <laughs> exits. So three top startups, yeah. ourselves and yourself. Mm. Two, like three top startups that you're vouching for, that you think like I'm gonna be the next big thing within the running ecosystem. That I'm vouching for, yes. hmm, that are gonna be the biggest thing. I would say number one, mm -hmm. okay, maybe before I say the, the startups themselves. And are you gonna give do. a disclaimer or what? <laughs> Not a disclaimer, mm -hmm. but uh, the reason why I'm mm -hmm. actually uh, mentioning this, I believe that in the early days of a company, you mm -hmm. have to uh, be able to bet on the actual founder right? I Not see. necessarily what they have now, but where they can actually be mm. in the next five to 10 years, I see. right? And uh, so that's how I kind of like select the companies that I, you know, uh, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. or that I prefer. Okay. Um, so I would say number one is definitely my very good friend, uh, you know, Food Bundles. I would okay. say he's a, he's a very, uh, uh, you know, experienced entrepreneur who understands what's yeah, happening. He's been in the game for quite some time. Quite some time. Yeah. So he has a lot of valuable <laughs> insights. Yeah. Uh, which, which, which I think uh, it's his his journey is really exciting, right? Uh -huh. To see where he's really gonna be and uh, you know the next big thing that mm -hmm. he's gonna do, right? I think that's that's really uh, that's really inspiring, right? Um, to 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 see. I think number two, mm -hmm. um, uh, which is actually quite an early stage startup, it's um, Painton. Pangton, yeah, Pangton is kind of, of like, um, yeah, it's what kind of like do? a buy now, pay later oh, startup, right? Oh, I see. Uh, they're just getting started right now, uh -huh. and uh, they're focusing on ecological friendly products, hmm. uh, you know, that you can buy now and pay later. Um, nice. And and just the enthusiasm from the from the founders, it's uh -huh. it's it's really exciting to see, and okay. it's something we haven't seen in the ecosystem for quite some time. Like people who are just like running and like mm. you know getting stuff done. I and I feel like that's it's exciting to see what they're gonna do, and but they that have a lot exciting, of cool things. Actually. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's uh, they have a lot of cool things like lining up, mm -hmm. and I believe like we should really pay attention and see where they're gonna be. I see. Um, third one, no. mm -hmm. the third one. Okay, so I gotta give um, this this founder a shout out as well. Mm -hmm. I would say Karasimbi Tech is mm -hmm. building a, a, mm -hmm. a, a yeah. health uh, startup. Angelo. Yeah, Angelo, right? Mm -hmm. Again, again, looking at the entrepreneur, the enthusiasm and the, just the drive to get stuff I done. See. It's uh, it's inspiring to like, whoa, like with the right tools and the right, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, like partnerships, like this can really be a big thing, right? Yeah. And um, I would say those those three. Um, those okay, three. Yeah. we've got three. Now, um, <laughs> the before last question now, um, five years from now, what is it that you predict for Runner's ecosystem? Like, um, Top three predictions. Where do you see run as ecosystem or tech ecosystem in the next five years? Yeah. Um, looking at wh where we are right now, I would yeah. say more bold uh, ideas, mm -hmm. like uh, where we see like crazy innovations coming out of the country. Mm -hmm. I would say something that is lacking right now, but mm -hmm. I feel like we're getting there. So more bold and not just the typical "oh, I'm doing this," which is a bit much better mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. the current mm -hmm. alternative, but like a whole new thing where everybody's like, "whoa." So that's number one. Mm -hmm. I see more uh, risk um, capital being flown into the market where, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. we're starting to really understand that, hey, let's bet on the entrepreneurs, let's bet on the entrepreneurs mm -hmm. as much as possible. I see. Um, and um, yeah, I just see like us collaborating a lot with other markets where we start really getting out, out there because um, mm -hmm. I think Right now, we kind of get stuck because it's a safe market, you I know, see, yeah. not too much yeah, competition, true. but <laughs> with competition, we're going to start getting out. Yeah, tell me about and, it. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I see it. Bold okay. ideas, more risk capital, and, um, you know, more expansion and collaboration. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds, uh, I I'd also bet on that. <laughs> Last question now. Um, this is more of an open mic. I mean, yeah. in 60 seconds, just tell us anything. I mean, anything you think our viewers would want to know. I mean, I don't know. Just 60 anything. seconds. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> anything really. Um, 60 seconds, I would say um, the ecosystem is at an interesting place. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't got to a lot of the places where we want to be. Mm -hmm. uh, there's still a lot, a lot of work, mm -hmm. but I believe that um, 
at this point, the people who are key players in the ecosystem right now, we have a huge uh, responsibility uh, to really make it out because um, yeah. uh, one of the yeah the challenges that are being there is mm -hmm. because people are not proving that you can actually make yeah. a significant significantly big company and you can create it starting from Rwanda, yeah. you know, very small country. Mm -hmm. And uh, because we're not seeing a lot of that, uh, we there's a lot of hesitation to invest. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of hesitation mm -hmm. to, oh, let me go get a job and, you know, mm -hmm. that's a safe option. But the more we see, you know, entrepreneurs just going wild into mm -hmm. the market mm -hmm. and being very ambitious, the more uh, we're going to grow, the more we're going to, you know, uh, be inspired and say, oh my God, you know, mm -hmm. I really want to be where Steve is. Like, mm -hmm. how did you make it there? Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's share knowledge. Last piece on, on top of that, it's again, opening the doors, mm -hmm. right? So for example, uh, I need to be able to know um, how did Steve get to where he is mm -hmm. right now? I yeah. need to know, we need to share that information. Yeah. I mean, education, if you know somebody in education, mm -hmm. being able to do that matchmaking. Collaboration. And, exactly, yeah, right? And doing, say. introducing, founders introducing to each other. And, yeah, no, that, um, that, that's, that's huge. That's, yeah, that's, that's huge. That's, that's uh, huge. Collaborating more with uh, other, other founders, I think it's, it's very, very mm -hmm. important. Yeah. And it's something I'm moving for. Ah, perfect. So, hey, that's it. Uh, 10 Qs with uh, Yusuf. So I hope this helps uh, and uh, please drop the comments below uh, who you want us to have on the show. And I mean, again, we hope this helps you.